Bienvenidos a la España Verde. Visitamos Welcome to Green Spain, where I will learn firsthand from the farmers themselves how their cattle are raised in these abundant lush meadows. En estos exuberantes prados verdes. The regions of Asturias and Galicia in the northwest of Spain are known for producing excellent veal, granted by the protected geographical quality labels. I'm visiting the Asturian mountains, where native cows roam freely in an exceptional setting. Abundant rainfall here maintains the rich pastures throughout the year. Local breeds Roxa and Casina are well adopted to rough terrain and extreme temperatures. This is a region of microclimates and a great variety of pastures. In a few kilometres, one can drive from these high mountain pastures to more saline meadows on the edge of the Atlantic. It's a dramatic coastal landscape where Ramon and his family raised the cattle passed down from parents to children. Angela is their first daughter. She'll be the fourth generation of cattle breeders. My grandfather started the breeding business, then my father followed. Now it's me and hopefully she'll follow as well. The rearing traditions are based on working in harmony with the environment. Cows graze freely in these pastures almost all year round. They're kept inside the barn only during the two or three months during the winter, where they eat fodder, but the rest of the year they graze freely. Calves are fed with maternal milk in Asturia for at least five months to gain IGP status. How can the Asturian breed be recognised? Look, they can be identified by their brown coat and black hair around the eyes, muzzles, ears, tip of the tail and horns. Raised in nature and free from stress, ensures the natural flavour. It is excellent for cooking the typical Asturian veal dish called cachopo. It's a tender, juicy, tasty meat because the fibres are very short, which makes it very succulent to eat. It's similar to the French cordon bleu, but stuffed with Spanish ham and local cheese. We're eating high-quality proteins. These are animals that are raised happily. They're outdoors all day long, and that translates into happiness on the plate. I arrive in Lugo, Galicia, to find out more about its rural farming culture. It's the livelihood for more than 8,000 families, like Angels, who inherited this herd and the ancestral husbandry traditions. Breeding with maternal milk is essential, as it improves calves' welfare. Every morning, the first thing is taking out the calves to be fed with their mother's milk. By regulation, calves suck at least until they are seven months. In the case of mine, until about ten months. Then we take them to graze on our meadows nearby. Galithian blonde cows are the main local breed. The tradition of livestock farming prevents the depopulation of these rural areas. Young ranchers like Angel ensure the cattle's well-being. Are you glad your son has taken over? Yes, of course. That is the point that cattle pass down from one generation to the next. How's the traditional cattle management in Galicia? It is based on cow grazing in the fields every day so that they roam in a free habitat. Natural grazing means better meat. Quality standards have led Galician meat to be among the most highly prized in the world. To find out, I visit Lugo's top chef, Hector Lopez. Only the best cuts of meat are served in this kitchen. Hello, Hector. What are we having today? Well, I have several pieces of veal here. Today I'm cooking a sirloin steak, which is a very tender and juicy piece. Perfecto. Muy bien. A sirloin steak with herbs and garlic cloves done to perfection cooked with a good sear on the exterior and medium rare on the inside. Try it, it's a very tender meat, very juicy and it has an exceptional flavour. Mmm, it's really tasty. Yes, it's very good. So, nature can be tasted in every bite. <laughs>